Okay, I'm going to manage to try to do this one-handed and still not shake you to death. So this is anatomy of a potato plant and also gopher damage. Unfortunately, my potato patch has been uh, decimated, but let's not throw away this chance to learn something. This is what the gophers did. They go ahead and they eat the tuber all the way off and leave the plant. Well, the plant can't survive. It just looks slumped over in the dirt. If you can see right here, this is what they did underground, those little buggers. And then this one got away basically unscathed. But it's what we can learn from is uh, how the potatoes form on the plant. And is what I would say is they form, they don't form out from this, this, so it really doesn't matter how big or how much of this you put in there, because it's really not necessary. The potatoes grow, if you can see them, let's see, I'm not going to use this, so, it grows, you see them forming those little baby potatoes, along this two maybe three inches of stem and I was never really one to heal up my t potatoes because it just forces this to keep growing and reaching for the sky you know it just forces this to keep reaching and reaching and reaching the only reason they heal potatoes is because as these swell it breaks the dirt open as these little tubers swell it breaks the dirt open and the light touches them it makes the potatoes poisonous so you kinda want to try to get these about six to eight inches down you see I only planted mine three inches down but I've heard that if you get these six to eight inches down you get a, a better yield you know your stock is longer and then once the the tubers start forming and swelling along this this then you come up and you you heal them up and um, keep the light off of them but um, let me show you another example. You see? And the, another thing is, is um, I also heard that the, the eyes, the amount of eyes really matters too. Because see, you have a bunch of, here's one, overcrowding. So if they form along this two inches of uh, stem here, you see there's a lot of, they're fighting for their space to form their own tubes. So I've... I would advise cutting your potato basically in half and having no more than one to two eyes if it's far apart um, on your on your potato. So you know if there's one on this side and then one on this side. Other than that, I would only keep one per per half per half of a potato. So um, yeah, it's a little learning experience. Here you can look at that too. We lost our potato crop, but I'm going to try again in the fall, maybe in containers and stuff. And um, at first I thought we had blight, but it really wasn't blight. You see where they were chewing the stem here, taking bites out of it, you know, but it wasn't blight. It was actually those over there slumped over, and when you pull them, they just come right out because they're, they're not attached to anything, you know, they weren't attached. And you can see they were in there eating because, you know. So I just went ahead and pulled everything out because I have tomatoes and things that I want to do. And I don't want to attract unwanted attention. But, um, see now this one, I think it got planted <laughs> with the eyes facing down. And it corrected itself. Went up and came out the ground. And it had a pretty good size stem on it you know but uh just food for thought anatomy of a potato plant thanks